Hi, y'all. This is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? OMG, I just came on real quick because I owe you all an apology. What was tonight supposed to be? Monday Night Musings. And I have invited people to come watch the live stream. And y'all, I was in the shower. I just got out of the shower. And I'm in the shower just thinking and praying and and then I started thinking about you guys and just thinking about my blessed ones and how much I love y'all and appreciate y'all. And then it hit me. Oh, OMG, I was supposed to do a live stream tonight. I was supposed to do these Monday night musings. I apologize because I know your time is valuable and I value you for making a decision to be a part of the blessed place and to be here on Monday nights. And I done forgot. But let me tell y'all what threw me off my game is because normally Monday nights, my husband is at work, but he called out tonight and he's here home with me and we're just, you know, talking or whatever. And he was like, woman, you need to be in this bed a decent time tonight because he know I will stay up to three, four o'clock in the morning and know I got to get up for work. Well, I need, I have to be at work eight o'clock in the morning. So he was like, don't stay up to three, four o'clock in the morning. You need to be in the bed. And so I'm taking my shower and I said, I'm gonna get in the bed, be in bed by 11. And it's now almost 11, about 10 minutes till 11. And that's when it hit me. OMG, I forgot my life. So I just came by to apologize to you all and to tell you, thank you for being here. Um, I won't promise to make up for it this week, uh, but I will be on next Monday. Next Monday will be um, our live stream. But if I get a chance to make it up this week, um, I will um, do a live this week and I'll let you all know. But before I go, I just want to leave you with a little word, a little nugget. Um, I was watching one of my favorite shows, Criminal Minds. And anybody who watched Criminal Minds know that they always say these, they give you these deep, thought-provoking quotes from different uh, people. And this one just resonated with me. And the the um, quote says, freedom is what you do with what's been done to you. Let me say that one more time, because that thing was deep. Freedom is what you do with what has been done to you by Jean-Paul Sartre. I got to say it one more time because it didn't get down in somebody's spirit like it got into mine. Freedom. You want to be free, right? Freedom is what you do. Yes, you. What you do with what has been done to you. Because y'all know some things have been done to us. Some people have been used and abused and thrown out with the garbage and stepped on and backstabbed and hurt and talked about and condescended to and looked down on and counted out and disregarded and disrespected. Some of us have lost some things. Uh, some of us have been devastated by people that we love, people who we thought cared about us. We have all experienced some hurt and some pain. But some of us are still bound, still imprisoned by that hurt and that pain. The person done gone on, don't even remember or not even thinking about it or don't even know or they know and don't care or they know and they're not trying to come back and apologize. But we are still bound by it. We are still locked up. We are still angry. We can't prosper because we're angry. 
We can't love properly because we're so hurt and devastated. And we're taking that to the next relationship and the next relationship and the next relationship. And we can't figure out why we can't hold on to these relationships. Why we can't, why he won't stay. Why the next one won't stay. Why the next one won't stay. Why didn't he choose me? Why didn't she choose me? Why am I not being chosen? I look better than her. Why I'm not being chosen? I'm smarter than her. Why I'm not being chosen? I'm I'm stronger than him. Why am I not being chosen? My abs look better than his abs. Why am I not being chosen? Why am I not being chosen and made a priority? Why am I everybody's options and not their priority? Because sometimes we're still holding on to the hurt and the pain. We are not free. We're not free to be ourselves. We're not free to be happy. We're not free to have joy. We're not free to have peace. We're not free to have have a forgiveness in our heart. We're not free to really, really enjoy and embrace life because we're not free. Because we're not free from the pain. The quote says, freedom is what you do with what's been done to you. So I just want to encourage somebody. I know it it was done to you. Your feelings are valid. Your anger is valid. Your pain is valid. What they did to you was wrong. And sometimes what we did to ourselves, even what we did to ourselves. Sometimes what was done to us happened 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. A month ago, a year ago, last week. But I don't care if it happened when you were five years old, 15 years old, 35 years old, 55 years old, 75. If you want to be free to invite the love in your heart, to be able to give love and gather love, to be able to engage, to be able to feel peace that surpasses all understanding, then you got to do something with what was done to you. And what is that something? You got to let it go. And if you find it hard to let it go, take it to the Lord who knows all about forgiveness. He forgives us every day. He forgives us every day. So we can forgive others and we can be set free from what was done to us. All right, you guys, I hope, uh, although I am so sorry I was not here for the live, but I hope I kind of made it up a little bit and hope that resonated with somebody because you deserve to be free. You deserve to have peace that surpasses all understanding. It is yours. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have joy. You deserve to have relationship. You deserve to have somebody adore you. You deserve to have someone care for you. You deserve to have someone who wants to be with you, who wants to talk to you, who wants to take you out, who wants to protect you, who wants to put, who profess you, who wants to provide for you, who wants, you deserve that. But you got to, you got to decide what you're going to do with what's been done to you. All right, you guys, I love y'all and I appreciate you all. And again, I apologize. I was in the shower and said, I forgot to do my live because my husband done changed the plans. All right, you guys, I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Take care.